Over the years, Browning has built a hunting rifle for every pursuit. I'm Kristen for Guns.com, and today I want to take a look at three classic Browning hunting rifles, and not just three different rifles, but three different actions. I have a semi-automatic Browning BAR, a bolt action, a Browning High Power Safari, and a beloved lever action Model 71. Let's take a closer look. talk about Browning BARs in a mixed crowd, the first thing that comes to mind is Browning's BAR light machine gun. That's not to be confused with what we have here today. In BAR's semi-automatic gas-driven hunting rifle, first built in Belgium in blued steel and walnut and progressing to today where parts are made in Belgium with guns assembled in Portugal. What I have here is a gun from the guns.com vault. This is a 30-06 BAR long track so named for the long action. Obviously, then you also have the short tracks on the short action. But what you get here is a magazine-fed auto loader, and that gas-operated action really eats up some of the recoil, especially in those heavier calibers. My goodness, is that light recoiling? I'm not used to a semi-automatic 30-06, but that is a pleasure to shoot. You can get these babies in the short actions from light shooters like a 22250 for varmints, all the way up to belted magnums for the biggest North American game. While I'm long a fan of bolt actions for their accuracy, I was pleasantly surprised by shooting this BAR on the range and finding it to shoot easily minute of angle using 30-06 hunting ammunition. We're cutting that same hole again. I like that. That's three shots at 100 yards in the same hole in the heart of that deer. I like it. But it's also popular with hunters who like to have that follow-up shot at the ready. Not everybody likes to be practiced in running a bolt or a lever action. With the BAR, you pull the trigger, and that next shot is ready to go with that gas operation. These are reliable guns that have proven themselves in the hunting woods for many decades. I like classic bolt action rifles, and to that end, there's few that I like better, and one that I've wanted since I was a kid, than a Browning High Power Safari. This is their, actually their low end bolt action rifle in the high power line with the Safari, the Medallion, and the Olympic grade. But still, this is an exceptional looking rifle with gloss walnut stocks here of high grade, blued American steel, and just a great looking bolt action rifle. The one that I have here is one I acquired for hunting. This is a 30-06 bolt action. One of the shortcomings of this one, which started being built around the 1960s, was that Browning had the great idea of using salt-cured wood. So that salt in the wood made its way to the metal. So we see some corrosion here on the, on the metal, but I'll tell you what, this gun is still a great shooter and a great hunter, and it tells the story of Browning's lineage in bolt action hunting rifles. Many hunters today are going to the A-bolts and the X-bolts, which in a lot of cases are more accurate overall. But I'll tell you what, this gun will hold its own with many of those, and I'm not afraid to take it out in the deer woods. And in fact, I did last year, and I will again this year. Here's that Safari with the three position safety. Nice smooth running bolt. Crisp trigger, and you'll see the attention to detail here. When we look at the engraving on the base plate and on the trigger guard, the rosettes here in the stock, and that hand checkering on the American walnut. Though the Browning FN built Safari bolt actions today are becoming quite collectible, you can still find these Safari grades, especially one like mine that's been affected by the salt wood and since resealed, for quite an affordable buy. They came in all the popular deer hunting calibers. You had a three position safety, a pretty decent trigger, nice iron sights there you'll see we've got the hooded front sight and on this particular rifle i've got nice engraved scope mounts so it's a great rifle that i don't have to be afraid to take out and hunt with in the field all right i'm set up at 100 yards here with the 30-06 browning high power this is a beautiful rifle in 30-06 i'm shooting i've got the deer target downrange. we've already shot the heart out when we were shooting the browning bar so what i'm going to do is shoot at that top diamond the left top diamond Three shots from our 30-06 and see what we can do at 100 yards. Woo! That looks like a center hit to me. Let's keep that rolling. Yep. 
Just a little low and a little left. Oh, and my target's coming apart, but I can still see my diamond. Cutting that last hole, I'll take that out of a 50 plus year old Browning rifle any day. This bolt action is one of my own and I'm going to be hunting with it for old time's sake at some point this year. You just got to love classic Browning rifles. When we talk Browning lever actions, the logical choice is the BLR, the Browning lever rifle. Well, I'm going in a slightly different direction, but don't get all riled up because how can you not like choosing the Model 71? Now this rifle was only produced for two years by Browning, 1986 and 1987, but it was a remake of a popular Winchester design, you know, Browning and Winchester being interrelated companies. And this makes not only a great hunting rifle, but a beautiful wall hanger as well. And I love rifles that can serve dual duty. This Model 71 comes from the guns.com vault. It's chambered in 348 Winchester. That's an ammunition that's a little more unusual these days, but you can still find it from Winchester and also from one of my favorites, Buffalo Boar ammunition. And that's what we were shooting on the range. And this has some serious knockdown power. Well, we got a couple rounds down range so far, but I just have to do a couple more because this gun, this Model 71, comes from the guns.com vault. It's an awesome gun, very, very lightly used, and not very often do I get a chance to shoot a beautiful gun like this in a caliber like a 348 Winchester, so I really want to take advantage of this. It doesn't have a target trigger by any means, but I'm getting used to it, and the iron sights with that hooded front are really fantastic. I'm feeling good with this gun. I wish I could take it hunting. Yes, that has got some knockdown power. I like it. We'll see here a white tail engraved on one side and a bugling elk on the other side. So we have that gold inlay and that beautiful engraving. High grade walnut here with high gloss. Just a good looker of a rifle and one that's sure to be a conversation piece if you take it out to deer camp. A closer look at our Model 71 here shows a 24 inch round barrel, a hooded front sight, a semi buckhorn rear, that nice curved lever that fits that pistol grip, Browning's gold trigger, and it's all topped off here with that nice widow's peak steel butt plate. So you're not getting the recoil reduction, but it does have that classic look of the Winchester lever actions as well. You know I'm a fan of classic hunting rifles, and when I have a table of these three great Browning classics, I can't help but want to head out into these beautiful fall woods and hunt some whitetails. Whether you're hunting deer or even something larger than that, any North American game animal, any of these three rifles will work. That semi-automatic BAR, the bolt action high power, or the lever action Model 71. I'm Kristen for Guns.com. Thanks for joining me today. Head on over to the Guns.com vault and check out these rifles and lots of other options from Browning and other manufacturers. Let me know in the comments if you're hunting with a classic rifle this year. And don't forget to give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date on more reviews like this coming your way.